Good morning. So it's the 9th of September and we're going on a holiday today to Uluwatu. Feels like a holiday because Changu is so busy. We do love Changu, but Uluwatu has nicer beaches, so we just thought we'll get away for the weekend. Managed to get a really good deal on a very nice hotel. So got up this morning, done a quick bit of shopping, bought this very cute necklace from a market at Love Anchor in Changu and then I bought myself a little hat and now I just need to get a shower, wash my hair and then we're going to set off driving to Uluwatu on the bike which will probably take a, an hour, a bit, no, probably a bit longer. Including getting lost. I think we're checking into the hotel like two-ish and it's like 12 now so quick shower, pack and then hit the road. <laughs> because I'm just going to say before construction starts again part and parcel of staying here was not complaining about construction because it got the price so cheap so we should stop at five o'clock we're just going to go and get some food and yeah we'll give you a tour round later let's go the for construction food stops. I am so hungry let's go for food yes. This is meant to be a really nice beach, which it is, but yeah, there must be must be more like restaurants somewhere. Try not to deck it down the steps. Yeah, it's cute though. Hopefully we can find somewhere for food soon because we are really hungry now. walking back to our villa now so I'm gonna give you the tour so we're staying in this bungalow one bedroom bungalow it's got this really cute chill area here it's got more cushions and pillows inside two super comfy looking sunbeds really nice little private pool then it's got a bit of a view sort of through there of the sea and then there's a view that I showed you earlier right down on the front sort of just behind the bungalows so we walk into the bedroom through here good size little bedroom I'm actually so glad it's got mosquito net as well because we're getting bitten alive at the place we're currently at and then you walk through so here, mini bar under there, we've got a filter water under here, that's the second bedroom if you do want to hire the place out, um, like the full place, but we've just hired the one room out, so nice, this living room, huge TV, more cushions here for outside, then there's this ladder that leads to like this upstairs little nook but I feel like it's more storage because I, I climbed up there earlier and it's a little bit dusty then you can open these doors if you want to just like a little patio area out here and then the bathroom is outside like set the pool now
got an outdoor shower there. Toilet. That's my shoes squeaking again. Sink here. That door just leads back round to the main entrance. And yeah, so this is us for two nights. So um, we've got four lizards knocking about somewhere. Oh, there's one up there. What's his name? That's Finn. That's Finn. Yeah, Alex has named them all. And then this is Beans. Ah, <gasps> yeah, Beans. Oh. He's coming Oh, bless him. He's getting scared. Sorry. We've actually got a living room. Oh my God, this is incredible. We're really making the most of this for two. I'm gonna say two weeks then. <laughs> no, two days. Um, we're basically just gonna chill. I don't even think we're gonna go far in Oluwatu, to be honest. We'll probably just nip out for lunch every day and keep coming back here and evening meal, come back here again. So yeah, we're gonna hit the road and go for some food. Let's go. Hungry, hungry. So this is tonight's little restaurant. back from food now and we ended up having some tapas and some paella which was really nice actually but it's quite quiet i don't know if it's just compared to changi that's really busy but i don't know we just kind of struggled for somewhere to to eat that looks like had a bit of an atmosphere um so the place we went to was a little bit quiet but it was super nice this is such a bad angle honest god so many people said oh when you go traveling you lose weight blah 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 no i think because we've been in changi for three weeks and we've just literally eaten out minimum twice a day it's starting to become a bit of a problem at this stage but yeah the food was super nice tonight but um we just don't really know where to go for a bit more of a lively evening um i think tomorrow we're just going to go down onto bingham beach because it's literally like the front of our bungalow where the other pool is and the little like hut thing on the front with some stairs down there to the beach so i'm going to go down there there's a place i think is it's called kelly's so we're going to try it down there at some point tomorrow just for lunch maybe and then we are we do want to go to the cashew tree as well. Good morning. What a night it has been. I'm going to keep this short. Not so sweet. But um, Alex, bless him, has been throwing up since like 2am. Still going now and it's like half nine. So doesn't look like we're going to be up to much. I'm still going to go out and find the breakfast in the hotel and just mooch about which I'm more than happy to do because I just wanted to chill this weekend anyway but yeah it's kind of difficult when grab is not as available here um, to get medication dropped off compared to Changu just hope Alex feels better soon, bless him, because obviously we've got a ride, I've got to check out of here tomorrow and we've got to ride back for like about an hour and ten minutes on the scooter which there's no way he can do at the moment. So yeah, it's not great this morning but hopefully tomorrow morning will be a different story or even tonight. But in the meantime, I'm going to go and find breakfast and try and get him some sickness medication of some sort. I'm entering into the quarantine area. Sad for Alex that he's not well. So just chilling by the pool still. Um, I don't know if I said so. The place we're staying at is called Mixed Place by Bingham Beach, just like above Bingham Beach. 
and we booked it super last minute like the day before and we literally got the best deal it was meant to be 4.5 million per night for the bungalow we're in which is 260 quid per night and we've ended up paying 200 pounds for both nights so it is so amazing to just sit by here just chill the hell out poor alex in bed missing out on it but yeah this is my plan for most of today hopefully i'll get a bit of a tan because i'm still super pale right i'm heading out on a solo voyage to find the cashew tree finally poor alex is still in bed <laughs> He's waving. Right, should be like five, ten minute walk, so shouldn't be too far. But I will show you a part of the journey. This is outside of our room. Oof. Our bike is also up here. So. tree now it was literally five minute walk away so it was perfect to be honest and obviously alex is still collapsed in bed so i don't want to leave him for too long i'm meant to be going out for tea at quarter to six at this really nice restaurant called ours that we wanted to go to yesterday but it was full but that is not going to happen at this rate i think alex is literally yeah he's not good i'm just gonna carry on with some work now probably put the telly on and just enjoy chilling out to be honest which i'm more than happy to do and yeah i'm a bit nervous about the morning if we're gonna be able to ride back or not if not i don't know i might have to try and ask if we can extend which is uh going to be a pricey ask but we'll see so those little bungalows up there where we're staying that's the infinity pool where we're staying too. So I've just come down through this shortcut gate here. So let's head down to the beach. I've got my book to read. It's to pass an hour before sunset. Alex is starting to feel a tiny bit better, but it's just not well enough to go out just in case. So I think we're gonna order in tonight. Well, I say that, I'm gonna order in tonight because Alex can't eat anything. And reading my book and I FaceTime my parents for a bit but it is such a cute sunset so far I'm excited because you don't always get a clear sky so the sunsets quite often can't be seen but it's gonna be a good one tonight you can already tell I'm gonna try and finish my book before the sun goes down and head back up and see how it's just feeling it's been a bit of a weird day today as well with me obviously just kind of been alone for the day but no offense Alex being kind of nice just to have a day to yourself mooch about not really do very much chill read a bit of work eat been for a couple of short walks yeah just trying to take it all in it's been a nice little weekend break actually we might end up extending for one night uh, if Alex is still feeling badly tomorrow. 
just nice to sit and gather your thoughts. Oh, I just love Bali so much though. It's just incredible. I'm excited to get back to Changu because it just feels like home in Changu, but Oluwati has been really, really nice just for a long weekend. There's a huge cloud right behind me, um, but I'm not gonna look and I'm gonna just optimistically keep reading my book and keep hoping that we see a nice sunset. Lado. Are you alright? So, <clears throat> this is tonight's plan. Which I'm actually very, very satisfied with. Chilling, having pizza, got Alex garlic bread. Don't think there's a chance he can stomach that, but. Oh my god, pardon me. Um, we'll see. We're expecting thunder and lightning tonight, which is going to be super loud because this roof is not very soundproof. So, yeah. Just hoping it doesn't absolutely hammer it down. I'm sure it'll be waterproof, surely, but I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, it won't be too bad though. And that's about it for tonight. Chilling, watching, keeping up with the Kardashians, eating pizza, and hoping for the best in the morning. Good morning. I got up this morning, came into the living room, and the roof had slightly leaked exactly where the camera was. So that was a panic, and turned it on, everything seemed okay, filmed this clip. I watched it back and the sound didn't work. But I've kind of left it to dry out a bit. There wasn't loads of water, it was just a small puddle, but enough to, well, get in the mic or something. Uh, but on the plus side, Alex has not been sick for nearly 24 hours, so that's good. I'm probably just gonna finish off the rest of my pizza for breakfast this morning and go and get my breakfast smoothie that we can get at the hotel. Ah, oh, Finn! Just having a snack, watching Piddle run around. Not seeing him last night. Got nervous that I'd stood on him or something. It's going very grey and I've just heard quite big rumble thunder, which usually preceded by a lot of rain and i really hope that doesn't happen because we've got to drive back soon oh rain's starting as much as i've enjoyed a change of scenery for the weekend i feel like the gods gods in all the water i just don't want us here camera nearly broke alex has been violently ill so yeah Looking forward to getting back to Changu, to be honest. But still be nice for a change of scenery. I've had a nice time anyway in the pool, but yeah. Glad it was just a long weekend. Get us back to Changu. Breakfast is served. We've got a banana pancake. Looks super nice actually. Uh, watermelon juice, and Alex has just got some toast. Just to play it safe for a bit longer. So the camera's died on me. But I've just put my little eye patches on and I need to brush my teeth. Alex is actually dressed. Yay. Typical that we actually booked to stay somewhere nice and this happens, but never mind. I've still had a nice weekend. So yeah, we're just gonna go and um, check out now and get back to Chengdu.